Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this video, we're gonna be talking about security management server. We're gonna be installing this from start to finish and I have everything set up. So if you guys are ready, let's get into it. So what I'm gonna be doing is opening up and it's pretty much just like installing a another virtual machine. So let's just go ahead and hit new. I was gonna do it off offline, but I wanted to walk you guys through it. It's pretty much the same exact thing as the other ones, but let's, uh, I'm gonna make this, this is the management server, right? So I'm just gonna put cp-mgt, mgmt, that's fine. That's fine for me. And I wanna do Linux. Linux, and then other Linux 64-bit. And I'm gonna do, see so I can do six gigs. I'll do, I'll do eight gigs, two cores, okay? And do a little, oh wait, I think I need to come back here. I need to change my location because I have this on an external drive here. Just because I have more room, I have more space. All right, so let's do 200 gigs. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and go to settings. Let's make sure everything is good. It's good. Storage, we're gonna go ahead and browse out to the ISO file, which is right here in my case, my downloads. Hit okay. And for network, let's go back here. For the network, we have to, I want to use host only. Okay. Perfect. And there's nothing for two, three, and four in this case, right? At least right now. All right. So let's hit OK here. Start this bad boy up. Let's bring this over here. And once we get this cooking, it shouldn't take, oh, it opened on a different screen. Let's bring this over here. We can minimize this. All right, let's go ahead and install Gaia. And I'm obviously doing this on a laptop, like I said in previous videos. So I'm not using my AMD anymore and it's flawless. That was the trick. I should have started on this machine. This machine is where I did the whole SIM solution, uh, SIM training for OSSIM from Alien Vault. And this laptop is you know, probably a year and a half old, two years old, maybe, maybe a little older. I don't even know. And it runs really well. It's a Dell uh, 5510. So, you know, it does a job. And I actually think it runs really well for these labs. So what I would recommend is definitely use an Intel machine if you can for these labs. And if you are using an AMD, let me know in the comments and see your performance. Because for me, it's not, it's not very good. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and hit okay here. US, that's fine for me. So here I'm gonna do the same thing, 50, 50. Okay. My fancy password for the admin account. Oops. All right. So in my case, I want to make this 10. All right, let me bring over the, uh, uh, let me see. Bring over this little guy. So here we are on this local LAN. So we're going to name, we're going to give this IP 2.21.2. .2. Okay, in my case. And you can get rid of this. Remember, because dot one is at our, at our management, right? So yes, you sure you want to continue? Okay. And we'll let this go on its merry way. All right, guys. So now the installation has been complete. We can go ahead and browse out to HTTPS slash slash 10.2.21.2. So let's go ahead and hit reboot there. And we can jump onto our Windows 10, 11 machine. Let's minimize this while that reboots. Let's open up a command prompt just to test connectivity. Okay, so we can try to ping. Let's do an IP config first. And I'm at 
2.21.10. So let's go ahead and try to ping 10.2.21.2, right? Because that's going to be our security uh, checkpoint management server. The security gateway is at dot one. So we'll give this a minute to boot. Once this is done booting, we should be able to ping it. And I did turn off my gateway just to have uh, you know more resources on our machines. So we'll give this a moment. And once this is good to go, we'll go ahead and configure the the actual uh, the systems. So it normally can take maybe a minute or so to actually boot. It all depends on how much resources that you allocate and all that good stuff. So we'll give this a moment to, to start up the system, like it's saying, starting up the system. So we'll give this a moment. Let's try to see if we can do a continuous ping just to see when it actually comes up. All right, so it's showing that it's pinging now. So TCP connection is talking. So let's see if we can try to get out and hit the actual server. It may or may not work. Let's go check it out. So this is dot one. This is the actual uh, checkpoint gateway. So now I'll try to hit the dot two, which is the management server. It's still not up yet. So the management server is not up yet. So we'll give it a few more moments while it boots. It has to start all the services. There we go. Cool, so now we can go ahead and continue here. Got something in my eye. So now we can log in with the same username and password that we did. Let's go ahead and make this a little bigger. So I wanna do admin and my fancy password. Okay. And no, I'm not killing the keyboard. I've gotten that in a few comments. It's just, the, it's a really loud keyboard. So if you guys can hear that, I apologize. All right, so here goes the first time configuration wizard. All right, so it's, it's pretty much the same kind of concept of installing the same firewall, but we're just gonna be installing different services. And this one, we're gonna be doing um, the management server. All right, so my IP address is at 10.2.21.2. That's perfectly fine for me. And what I wanna name this, let me name this CP. What did I actually name it? CP, which is checkpoint dash MGMT for management. Okay, so for DNS, I'm gonna go ahead and supply 8.8.8.8, because if you remember from the previous video, this is gonna be my DNS server, so we should be good there. And let's do New York, because I just, I'm from New York, I guess, I don't know. So we'll go ahead and uh, do uh, security gateway or management. We're gonna be doing the management in this case. So this is how you should have this configured, okay? So it's only going to be doing the security management in this case, okay? And I want to go ahead and do find a new administrator. I'm just going to put me and post like that. And I'm just going to do the same exact password as my admin, just for simplicity's sake, okay? So as we go down, right now, any IP address from my network can hit it. But in the real world, well, we'll probably you know change this up as we go. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll make some uh, different changes. But as of right now, any IP address can hit the security management. Okay, from any from any IP. Okay, I don't need to send data. That's fine. Hit OK. Yes. Continue. And we'll let this do its merry thing. Uh, it's going to go ahead and um, verify the configuration install the security management, the compatibility packages, and then finalize the config. So this may take a few moments, so let's hang tight while this goes, and we'll resume once, it's, uh, once this thing is done. All right, guys, so now this is complete. So now we can go ahead and click on OK and continue with the configuration. So now we have our management server up. You can see the interfaces. We only have the one interface on this uh, management server. So if we were to boot up our server, let's check that out. Let's test connectivity really quick while we are on this topic. Let me go ahead and just change some settings just so I don't blow up my machine. Instead of 16 gigs, I wanna make this about 10. I wanna make it 10 gigs. All right, so let me go ahead and start this up, see how long this thing's 
uh, takes to boot up. And let's, uh, let's give that a moment. So what I want to do, and this is the actual the gateway, right? This is the gateway. This is the management. So technically, from all of these machines, we should be able to communicate, right? So let's go ahead and come here. Let's log in while that's booting. So let me get out of here. Bring this over here a little bit. So I'm going to click here and bring this, make this bigger. All right. So from my management, I want to go ahead and try to ping the Windows 10. And from here, I want to do an IP config. And I'm at 10.2.21.10. And if you remember, in here, what I'm doing is this, <clears throat> excuse me, I just booted up my gateway. So that's at 10.2.21.1 slash 24, we just built out our management server, which was at 10.2.21.2 slash 21. And we have a Windows machine that we're going to, you know, install small, small client on eventually, but we'll get into that um, later on. So now all of these three devices should be able to communicate. And we're going to go ahead and test that now. All right. So let's go ahead and minimize that. So from my management, I want to go ahead and ping my Windows machine. So I want to ping 10.2.21.10. Let's see if it pings. And it's not. And I probably know why. In a typical in the Windows world, there's a firewall that's on. So let's go ahead and just turn that off. Let's go to firewall. In Windows, you have a Windows firewall that blocks ICMP traffic. So if that's the case for you, you just go into your Windows firewall settings and just turn that off. So I want to do domain network defender turn off. And let's go back. Yeah, yell at me if you want. Okay. Yes. All right, so private network as well. I want to go ahead and turn this bad boy off too. Yeah, you can yell at me all you want. So now if we minimize this. We come back here. Let's see if we can ping it now. Still can't ping it. That's interesting. Let's give it a moment. Very, very inter interesting. So, all right, whatever. I know it's communicating because obviously we're getting to it. So let's see if there's any, let me see if I can ping dot one. See if that, it's not up yet. Okay, so we'll give that a moment to still boot, still coming up. And so technically, this video is pretty much done. You know, we got the, the, security, the security gateway up and running, or the, the management up and running. So we'll stop here. I'll have everything booted up, and we'll continue with the next topic in the next video. Thank you so much, and have an awesome day.